Hi, this is Nick from Canwell coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the Chia from Italy uh, Digitech Pulse 4000. So this has got to be one of the fanciest welcoming machines that I've ever seen. I got a chance to play with it a little bit this morning and uh, it's got some features, let me tell you. So this is a 400 amp multi-process welding machine. So it's got lift TIG, it's got TIG Pulse, uh, it's an arc welder, and it's got MIG Mag, MIG Synergistic, MIG Pulse, and uh, MIG Double Pulse capability. Uh, the Double Pulse being sort of for the ultimate welding on thin material like aluminum and stainless steel without getting any sort of distortion. So we're gonna take a minute uh, after I introduce everything here, we're going to run through some of these features here and we're also going to zoom in and we're going to take a look at this drive roll system that's really nice. But uh, first let me tell you about um, some of the other things about this machine. So it comes in a few different sizes. Like I said, this is the 400 amp version. Uh, it's water cooled. As you can see down here, it's got an internal water cooler. It's got the separate wire feeder and uh, it's pretty crazy. It's got a memory where you can memorize up to 99 different jobs. Um, it also has the ability for you to connect it to the internet or to or with an ethernet connection so that you can upload new programs to it and stuff like that. And it's also compatible with running a robot arm. In fact, later on when we take a look at the, uh, the menu through here, um, I'll show you the program that you go into, I believe, if you were going to mate it up to a robot. So this thing is pretty space age. Uh, like I said, it's probably one of the fanciest welding machines I've ever come across and it looks like something that you would uh, even see down at NASA. So um, let's go ahead and first thing I want to do is show you guys the drive roll system and then we'll get a little more complex and we're going to talk about the stuff down here. Okay, so up here this is the, uh, the separate wire feeder. So all the settings that we just finished running through in the menu down below, uh, they're going to be reflected up here and we also have the ability to control them from up here as well. Uh, it's also got that really slick little dust cover to keep everything looking nice and dust free because you know with something electronic it's always nice to keep it clean. Uh, let's go ahead and twist this over. You can see that it will accept the full-size MIG spools. And let's take a look at this four-wheel drive roll system because this looks pretty sharp to me. So with the quad-wheel drive roll system, uh, it allows you to use fatter, fatter MIG wire, basically. Um, and it'll feed super smooth. Um, sometimes when you have these full-on spools of wire, they can be quite heavy. And just two wheels isn't enough. Sometimes it'll slip a little bit. Sometimes it's going to affect your feet. So with having the four, four wheels, you can ensure that you get a nice smooth feed when you're welding on really heavy stuff with really heavy MIG wire. This is a gorgeous drive roll system. Let's go ahead and just pull one of these off. Oh boy, that just feels well made. I'm not going to lie. That's beautiful. Let's pull one out and see if I can figure it out. Okay. So you can see there's a little finger here that mates to the gear. That's where we're going to put back into here. And this is a 1.0 and a 1.2, It's so pretty standard. And the other side is going to be exactly the same. So yeah, that's a very nice drive roll system. I'm impressed with that. And uh, I've done a bit of MIG with this before and I know it feeds smooth. And uh, this is basically the reason why. This is the heart of all that. Okay, let's go ahead and close this up. Okay, so uh, like I mentioned, this is a 400 amp Digitech and uh, it's meant for heavy duty production use. And uh, it's got these really cool plastic covers that keep off that digital interface. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's play around with some of the parameters and see what kind of options we have with this thing. So first of all, let's talk processes. The first process I see highlighted here is MIG Pulse. So that's pretty cool. We can use the MIG Pulse where it's uh, we have the Pulse feature going and we can weld on thin, thin stuff with having less distortion. So down here, uh, I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but from everything I've read and what I understand, the dual pulse is taking the same concept and just pushing it further, uh, where you're getting you know, a double pulse out of the MIG and you have even less distortion when you're welding on things like aluminum and stainless steel. So that's pretty slick. I'm looking forward to trying that later on. Here we have MIG Mag with the synergistic controls, which is always nice. Uh, that way you only have to worry about either setting your, your voltage or your speed. Here we have MIG Mag Manual, if you're like me and you like to just set it by your ear. Down here we have Vision Cold. So I was reading about this. This is a special setting that you would use again if you don't want to use the pulse but you're welding on something that you're worried about distorting. The machine is going to use a slightly different arc length and it's going to weld a little bit different to help keep you from burning through and help you still produce a really nice weld. 
down here we have vision pipe. So this would be for like laying a root pass, you can even see the picture here, for like laying a root pass down when you're doing pipe welding. So I think that's gonna be increasing your penetration and cutting down on the width of the bead, probably by changing the, uh, the wire speed and the arc length. Down here we have vision power, which I believe is to get extra penetration when you're welding on super heavy stuff. This is the vision ultra speed uh, for use on non-ferrous metals that have an increased amount of magnetic pull. Uh, and with this, you can weld substantially faster. Uh, I know I'm not sure if this is for the human application or um, like I mentioned before, this is like you can run this with a robot. So the increased speed makes me think of it's being used in conjunction with a robot arm, something that can move a lot faster than a human can. Uh, down here we have stick, so just a basic MMA. And here we have TIG lift and we have TIG lift pulse. So it's really cool that uh, not only do we have the pulse MIG, but we also have the pulse TIG, which uh, I can't think of another machine off the top of my mind um, that has both. That's pretty slick right there. And now we're back up here into MIG pulse. So let's check out some of the programs that are already in this thing. So you can see the programs. Let's go up to the first one, 1113. So you can see it's got the code for the material that you're gonna be using. It's got the suggested wire size, 1.2, and then it's also got the suggested gas that you should be using. So right there it's saying argon 16, CO2 20%, so it's telling you to use rich mix. Now, I'm on program 18 right here. There are 67 preset programs. So if you can't find what's in here, like if you're trying to weld something that's not in here, you can always use the synergistic controls to help dial it in, but uh, you should be able to find it. Looks like they got it almost everything going on in here they thought of it all and like I mentioned before on top of these 67 existing programs you can program your own 99 on top of it inside of here and you can password protect those to make sure that people don't monkey around with your settings if you're worried about that let's whoops let's go on over into mode mode so we got two step and four step uh, it, which applies to our um, our MIG torch or to our TIG torch if we're using thumb controls uh, we have our crater settings we can set it into spot welding, and we can also get into stitch welding, which is pretty slick. And uh, it's very easy to select through all this. This is a, a nice, easy interface to read. Let's take a look at the effects. So here we have pre-gas, we have starting speed, we have the hot start that we can adjust, we have the stitch time for if we're in the stitch welding se <coughs> setting, stitch pause for the amount of time it takes for you to move your body from the next stitch to the other, Burn back controls, which is always nice. And we have our post gas. And then slope. And back to pre-gas. So uh, yeah, I feel like you could sit and play with these parameters for a month and uh, still be finding new things. This is a very, very slick machine. I like this setup. Uh, it's very easy to read. It kind of, it gives you a rundown of everything that you're set into right here. It's got the symbols. Uh, that help you identify exactly what process you're talking about nice and nice and quickly. This is a, a really, really slick setup. I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed with this. I've only done a little bit of welding with it so far, but uh, the more I run through this, I'm looking forward to doing more and more. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to close this up and we're going to take a look at the drive roll system because I thought that was pretty beautiful too and that's something I wanted to show you guys. So in closing, uh, again, this is the Chia Digitech multi-process Vision Pulse 4000 machine. Uh, like I mentioned, we have a partnership with these guys. So if you ever want to come check this thing out, you can come on down to our facility here. We have, uh, we have this one and we have a smaller version available. You guys can check them out. We can do a demo and uh, you can see what it's all about. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave us comments and suggestions. We like to hear that stuff. And if you're savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until I catch you guys next week, stay safe out there. Keep having a lot of fun.